Hi, my name is Francisco Pereira. I'm studying computer science at Instituto Superior Técnico and I'm a proud member at Sinfo. Here are some other members at Sinfo in the, in the audience. Hey, guys. <laughs> So it was at Sinfo that I learned all the basics about the web development. Um, and I decided to, in the process of learning these uh, basics, I did some tutorials, like uh, many of us do the tutorials before learning a new programming language. But uh, in spite of the tutorials, the tutorials can only get you so much, can only do so much. So I decided, I had an idea, and decided to build a personal project this personal project involved um, uh, automating a process that I've been doing for many, many years. So, um, legal disclaimer, obvious legal, legal disclaimer, my personal pro project is related to filter the torrent searching. So, if you want to download a movie or a TV show, that is illegal if you don't pay the, the copyright protected content. So, I'm assuming... Um, from now on, I'm assuming that you buy the, the movie or buy the TV show before downloading the content. So yeah, that's that. So you can go to jail and then later give a talk at Sinfo about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, buy before download. So uh, the thing that I was doing for many years now was uh, I love to watch movies and watch TV shows and I wanted to download all of them and keep all of them. So if you buy, a movie and buy a TV show, and you later want to watch it from wherever you want, you have to keep a, a digital copy of that uh, movie in a, in a place like uh, your home. You have a, a media server in your home, and you want to keep a, a digital library of all the movies and TV shows that you have. So uh, if you buy a Blu-ray, then you get Blu-ray content, Blu-ray quality. So. If you, if you have all the torrents uh, displayed before you, why would you choose a, a torrent with low quality? Why would you, if you bought the content, why would you rather choose a, a low, quality, well, low quality content? Um, nowadays, more than ever, we have like 4K TVs in our home. Why would we want to watch content that we only be watchable in a smartphone where you can, can, cannot watch uh, like the pixelated areas or the, the, all the, the defaults in your movie, why would you choose that? No, you want to choose the best torrent with the best quality. So um, over the years, I got a, a sense that I was like, I was looking at a torrent and I was like, okay, this, I like this torrent. I don't like that torrent. Okay, what made me choose between those torrents? So this is an example of a group, of a release group. How many of you uh, know Wi-Fi? So yeah, um, don't download Wi-Fi. Unless you want to watch it from a smartphone or a tablet, that's OK. But uh, if you go to a torrent site and you search for, I don't know, Inception, and you're like, oh, this torrent has 2,000 seeders. I'm going to download it. No, think. That's, that's, that's because th this, this movie that has t uh, 1080p resolution has two gig has a two gig file size. Mm, that's that's a, no, a big no for me. That's that's gonna be that's gotta be a low quality low quality um, content. So if you if you watch Wi-Fi, don't don't do don't do that. Okay. So I'm gonna give you an example. So imagine if you uh, that you want to download the Inception movie. Okay, I like the Inception. Good. Um, yeah. So uh, you go to a torrent site. This is a typical result search from the torrent site, and you are overwhelmed by the information. Uh, each torrent has a, a new word, a new buzzword, maybe. Uh, the file sizes by the right, the seeders, you see the zero seeders, and you go, oh, I can't download that. No, it's OK. So I, I had to learn from experience, empirical thought, that uh, some torrents are better than the others. Some torrents are going to give you a better quality than, than others. And one, one file in here uh, like shines out of, out of them. It's this one. This one has, is an 80 gig file of the inception. Some people are going to like, why would you download an 80 gig uh, file for a movie? That's because that's, that's common sense. If you have more files, the bigger the file size, the more the information that's contained within the file. So if, you want, if you're going to watch it from a 4K TV, 
you're, you're going to have to to have a lot of information to fill those pixels, right? It's it's just common knowledge. So, in a in a perfect world, I would download a raw file size that they present to you on the movies. So I don't know one terabyte uh, file size from a movie. But one, I don't have a projector in my home. Two, I don't have many one terabyte hard drives. So, and three, nobody sees one terabyte movies. So maybe maybe me, but, but I'm okay. So the, th the third thing I thought to automate this process was, OK, maybe these sites have an API. Maybe I can use the API of these, these sites and get the torrents out of them. But of course they don't. They are illegal torrent sites. Who are, who's going to build an API for illegal torrent sites? Nobody. So after a little bit of search, a lot of Google search, so I came up with this concept, the crawler. The crawler is a process that simply uh, scraps the website and gets the content from the HTML page. So if you want to, I don't know, if you visit an HTML page and you get, and you want to have a, an automated process to give you always the title of that web page every single second, you can do that. Of course, you, you have to be careful for DDoS and uh, everything. But if you are careful and responsible, you can do this in a very basic way. So I got this, I got this uh, NPM package that uh, gets me the, the content of the HTML page. So now I, I'll, the only thing I have to do is analyze the HTML page. So in the, OK, this is the, the example uh, of the, um, they give you on the NPM site. They, they just are looking for the, the title in here. So OK, I, just wa I want more than the title, but this is everything that I need. This, have, this has everything, everything that I need. So I just have to analyze the HTML on the page. So I know that the, basically all the sites divide their torrent information in tables, then in rows. And in each row, there's the information about each torrent. So I have everything I need in here. I have the, the, um, the torrent file here. I have the link for the, the torrent site. I have the title later used to parse the information. Uh, the seeders, the site, the size, the leachers, I have everything. So what do I want in the end? In the end, I want a website that knows what I want, knows what torrents are bad, what torrents are good, and gives me them. So the, in, a, in a perfect scenario, I want a JSON in the end with all these properties, the site, the size, the title, seeders, torrent file magnet, leachers, URL, and most importantly, the properties of that torrent and the score of that torrent. So each torrent is going to pass through a pipeline. Pipeline has three main processes, the filter, the parser, and the score. The filter is very basic. Filter is just like I, I'm looking for inception. I search for inception in a, in a given website, and they gave me, uh, I don't know, house. I don't want that. It doesn't make sense, so I threw it out. Or if you are looking for uh, a season two of uh, a TV show, they gave you season one, throw it out. I don't want that. Okay, get properties. This was more interesting. So the properties that I want are these properties. I want to know the resolution of the file, the source, the audio, encoding, and maybe the group. Because if you, are, if you give a lot of importance to this, you are going to have favorite groups. Like if you, this like here, I talked about Wi-Fi. That's a no, and I have to and I have to know if I'm receiving the Wi-Fi torrent, and just say I don't want that. And maybe this one, public HD, Sparks, Control HD, so are very, very. Yeah. Tell me outside of this world, what, what is Wi-Fi? What does it mean? So Wi-Fi, okay, I didn't explain that. Wi-Fi is a, just an alias for a group of people that, uh, from the source, they maybe they bought the Blu-ray, then they they did some magic there. And they release the the after magic to the to the public. So each torrent that you see in the in here, these are group. These are some some people. I don't know which people, but some people did this. Like three six people. I I don't know. Uh, some people. Some torrents discriminate the group that made this. Like an, a signature. Yeah. And uh, like this one is coaster. And now I know that Coaster makes makes good uh, uh, good torrent content. So bad content. It's not bad content. It's poorly used. Okay. So uh, you want to download a Wi-Fi a two gig file for I don't know. You want to travel, and on the train you want to watch watch a movie. You don't you won't pick up 
You're not going to pick up your 60-inch TV uh, to, the, to the train. You're going to have a tablet. And to the tablet, you don't want a, a, a big file size. So you want to, want, want to download Wi-Fi. But it's very, very common for people to download this and watch on a 60-inch TV. That's wrong. That's not wrong. It's just sad. Uh, <laughs> OK, so I want to have all these properties. Um, all these properties have, uh, for example, resolution 4K, 2080p, uh, 720p. Sources, uh, where did I get the content from? Before I process it, what did I do? Did I record it from a, from a movie, from a, a cinema? Uh, did, I got the, did I get the Blu-ray? Did I download it from the web? Did I uh, record it from a TV, from an uh, uh, ongoing TV show? Um, so yeah, uh, basically what I did was associate to each property uh, for example, resolution, I associated some keywords, keywords that I know that I'm going to found in the torrent title, and that these keywords associate, are associated with a, a, a given property. So for example, if I see uh, 1080p on a torrent title, I know that's a 1080p uh, resolution movie. I did this to every property, every other property uh, shown in here. OK, so for example, this is, a, this, is, um, this is the get properties process of the pipeline. I just get the title. From the title, I lowercase everything. I remove all the dashes and dots and everything that I don't want to, and just found the, the keywords that I want. In this case, uh, 2160p, that's 4K. Blu-ray, that's the source. HEVC, that's encoding, or H.265. Uh, DTS HD 5.1 is the audio. So I just associate that with the title. And this, this process is made for every single torrent. So I get, uh, I, I'm scrapping uh, six, or six uh, torrent sites at the same time. I get all the torrents. I make this process for each and every one of them. So now comes the score. I have to think, what makes a torrent a good torrent? Now I have all the properties. I have the size. I have the title. I, ha I have everything. So I have to think, what do I want? What do I like more? What makes a torrent a good torrent and a bad torrent a bad, a bad torrent? So actually, I just associated each property with a score. Here it comes. Um, but question, why did I give more score to a 720p file than to a 4K? Actually, what I thought, uh, does anybody want to, to share an opinion, by the way? Okay, um, that's that's valid, but these these scores are for me. Okay. So. <laughs> you prefer, so you prefer. No, 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 <laughs> no. I I prefer 4K. Do you have other parameters that are scored higher, and you can get a lower uh, size document with those parameters higher? Maybe that's. Yeah, like yeah, that's exactly it. Like the, uh, I learned that the file size is extremely important for the score process. So for the same file size. A 720p file will win against a 4K file. So if you have a 2 gig or 4 gig file size, but one is 720p and the other one is 4K, it's obvious that the, the, the lower resolution is going to have better quality than the higher resolution. Well, sorry, do you mean that people basically they just lie with the keywords, right? They don't lie because if you have, OK, imagine that uh, um, you have a circle. Okay, a circle that was made with uh, 480 resolution. Okay, yeah. if you watch it from a distance, everything's okay. It's a perfect circle. But now when you enlarge the picture to the point that it fills a 4K TV, a 60-inch TV, what are what are you going to see? You're going to see the, all the the steps of the circle. It's not a perfect circle. It's not a curve. It's all the squares. So what you did was extrapolate the missing pixels, because there are missing pixels, you get from fewer pixels and then more pixels. Okay? You have to extrapolate the missing pixels. And by, and by that extrapolation, I can consider low quality. It's not low quality per se. It's a subjective matter. But if you have, if you have to extrapolate, it's wrong. It's not, it's not wrong, but I don't want extrapolations. I want raw content. Yeah. 
everything that the, the movie makers did. Okay, so for the same file size, I would prefer uh, a lower resolution movie. But in my case, if a, if a good wait, if a good torrent has a 4K resolution, then it's going to have a bigger bigger file size. And that's what I want. So it's going to win. It's going to have at least 1.5 times. It's going to have. It's going to be 1.5 times bigger than the 4K. So this is the algorithm for ca for calculating the the score. It's, it looks nasty, but it's quite simple. It's I take the size in bytes. I multiply for each uh, property score. So if I have, a, for example, in this file, I have a resolution of 4K. This is a score of one. In the source Blu-ray, this is a score of 1.5. Audio, two. Encoding HEVC, four. Uh, I multiply all of this together. I get 12. Multiply by the size and get the logarithm so I can read it right. Just. Uh, this score doesn't have unities, doesn't have, um, doesn't mean anything. It just means that I can uh, correlate each torrent with each other. Okay. So, by the way, if you want a, a property that doesn't contribute to the score, just give it one. It's a, new, it's a neutral uh, number in multiplication. Give it one. Okay. Well, so that was. That was what, what I was saying. So we get a score of 27 in here. Doesn't mean anything. It's just relatable. And this is the final result. It has everything that I need. It's just it's just the JSON with the torrents, torrent file, the title in here, the size, seizures, leachers, and all the properties and the final score in here. So I, because I made it, I decided to name it. And I decided to name it Tober because it's a torrent grabber. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> like the best thing I did in this project. If you want to watch the, okay, this is the final result of my website. You just insert inception in there, and gives you all the the torrents sorted by my preferences. If you want to have your preferences, you can go to the to the this place like here. Um, can go to rules. And set up your own rules. Do whatever you want. If you want to watch Wi-Fi, go watch Wi-Fi. I don't. <laughs> I'm not judging. <laughs> I don't log that. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to watch my 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 code, it's right here. And uh, one thing that I wanted to say also was, uh, if you do a personal project in a programming language that you don't know very much, and you finish the project, don't stop. Don't stop there. You can always go further. I'm currently I'm uh, launching a new feature in in Tover that I'm I'm inserting a torrent client inside my site. So you can download if you have a torrent client, for example, Qubit Torrent or um, Transmission running in your home, and you go to my website, you can download to your home from my website. So that's nice. And if you have the license. Always. That's, that was a, a prerequisite I said from, from the beginning. So always buy the content before you download it. Yeah. And see it after, please. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah.